Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. We're shipping out a lot of good stuff today. And later today at five o'clock central time, I'm gonna be selling a bunch of one-offs, including this long wallet we have here, which is really an exceptional piece. So take a look at the flash sale page on ashlandleather.com and I'll put up all the stuff I'm about to show you at 5 p.m. Central Time, that's 6 Eastern. I wanna give everybody a fair chance to pick up some great stuff because we did our irregular sale on Friday and that was uh, so overwhelming how much support you guys are giving us. I think everything pretty much sold out under an hour, uh, which is just amazing. So thank you guys so much. And everything that was ordered on Friday, I'll be sending out today. So you should have it soon. Uh, just hang in there. <laughs> but let's get started with our one-offs. And one-offs for us are random custom projects that we do, things that we think might be interesting to try. And I've got maybe eight of them here to show you today. So this up first is a whiskey shell cordovan piece on the back of our long wallet design. And the long wallet is a little bit larger. It's more of like a breast pocket wallet. On the inside, we have color eight shell cordovan on the right side, which those shells look very glassy and smooth and nice. On the left, we've reversed it. So this is color eight reverse. I like this combination because the reverse shell is not as abrasive as shell on shell. So when these will close and rub together, uh, it's much less scratchy um, just because the reverse is a little less abrasive than the shell that is microscopically abrasive. It feels very smooth, but uh, when you rub shell against shell, you'll start to see little scuffs and scratches. These are really cool uh, long wallets. It's not necessarily for me because I'm just a back pocket wallet guy. And then underneath each of these are also large empty spaces. You can put checkbooks, some cash in there. Now here's another interesting long wallet. And this one might look familiar if you've been checking out the videos. This one, we have black Chrome XL leather on the outside. Chrome XL here is very polished and smooth. I've switched all our black from the Chrome XL over to Dublin. Uh, both are very nice, but the Chrome Excel is a little bit smoother, a little bit more of a sheen to it. This one sort of has like a wet look. Uh, I really like black Chrome Excel, but uh, Black Dublin is sort of the new black leather hero for me. On the inside here, we have another really interesting leather. This is a leather called Visage Latigo. And if you look closely, there's little bits of orange in the cross section of the leather. So what we do is we tan an orange leather in the drums. It's all drum dyed through. So through all the substrate of the leather, it's orange. And then we stain this heavy gray on top of it. So you get this cool two-tone effect. And the idea is that when you wear this and the gray starts to get scuffed and scratched, you'll start to see some of those orange colors come from underneath. But I really like the idea of having the cross section be orange. So when you look at the profile view, of this wallet you see the black and orange and gray and i think that's just a really cool look especially when you look at the card holders sort of this direction uh, it's a really unique uh, wallet here so here's the wallet that i would be choosing from our one-offs uh, just because i'm a fat herbie guy i love the fat herbie it's a wallet that i choose to wear every day and on the outside of this one we have an incredible piece of color eight marbled shell and i've set up the camera in this different angle here to try to show you uh, so I can do this little spinning action here, but also I think that for some reason the blue of the denim makes the colors look a little bit more accurate uh, as opposed to the brown of the wood on the table. Um, but I'm just still experimenting with different camera angles and stuff, but this Color 8 marble shell is super nice. You can really see it range from this light tan all the way to more of that classic Color 8 shell, the dark brown. And all the colors in between, it's got these little reddish undertones, a little orange, some brown. It's really cool on the outside here, that Color 8 marbled. And on the inside, we've got something special. This is Color 8 Reverse Shell Cordovan, but we've added a hidden slot on each side. So if you see these additional panels here, these are floating. So they're not stitched down to the sort of middle piece where the Horwin ink stamp is. This is open all the way through underneath here and on the other side. Hold a little bit of extra stuff. And I think this is an interesting idea. Um, it does bulk up the leather or the wallet a little bit, but this one is not bad at all. Uh, it will add a little bit of thickness. I like a thinner wallet, and it seems like most people these days are not so worried about the thinness, um, which is interesting because when we started making wallets, 
that seemed to be everybody's interest is the thinnest wallet possible. Uh, now it seems like people think that thicker leather means that it's a little bit more durable. That's not what we seem see to be the case. Uh, I don't think the thickness of the leather necessarily has to do with the durability. Uh, but either way, this wallet is very cool. This is the one I would choose. Uh, this will be going up on the flash sale page. Now here's another really cool marbled piece on our Giant of the Fox, and this is black marbled, but this is very much not a dramatic marbling. You can see it kind of just looks like a green, although you do see these little differences in texture and color on the right side there. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit more yellow and green. Uh, in fact, I was talking to my brother Matt and he thinks that this should be the green that Horween tries to match because he loves this green shade so much. And on the inside here, we have black reverse shell cordovan, which I like the reverse interiors uh, because of how I mentioned that they wear in. Uh, also, the, you get this incredible random uh, look. You get different colors of the reverse and you get random die marks. So we, on the black reverse, it's not black at all. It's really more of like a green. So you see it go from more of this forest green color and all the way down to a very light tan. That's the range of color that we see on the black reverse. And this is sort of a really good representation of the full range of that black reverse. And we've also hid the Horween ink stamp in the bill slot. And up next, this is a really interesting Bugs Moran in the classic color number HL Cordovan. This one is um, probably my second favorite of the day. And not just because color HL is very nice and it's definitely a classic for a reason, but what I like is this interior. And on the inside of this one, we have Whiskey Shell Cordovan. Specifically, what I like about this is how we've creased the edges of the card slots there, sort of highlighted where the edge was. I think this was the wallet we first made when we got a new creaser tool. And we wanted to try it out and I think it worked uh, very nicely on here, sort of highlights those edges. I think it just sort of gives the, the geometry of this wallet a, a more highlighted uh, emphasis, which I think is really cool. And I've always really liked color number eight and whiskey together. This is a really great looking Bugs Moran. And I have another Bugs Moran for you. This is in black shell cordovan. Really like the sleekness of the black shell. It's sort of all the light reflecting off the black shell just looks really interesting to me. And on the inside of this one, we've got something really crazy. This is ultraviolet reverse on the inside left and right. You can see the random die marks that had mentioned on the other reverse colors, but what's cool on the ultraviolet reverse, it's a little bit more of this deep purple pink, like a dark pink color of the die splatter. That's just really cool and unique. A lot of people that see these are uh, really into this. When you see the ultraviolet reverse in person, it seems like it rings a, strikes a chord with most people that see it. And people that come to the shop, they tend to gravitate towards these shells. I think it's really cool as well. And this one has a little bit of an imperfection right here on the left to the right of the Horween hot stamp. There's an open cut on this piece right here. It doesn't really feel that open, but it's definitely an open cut, not up to our normal standards. Hey, and as I was recording this, a uh, new package came in, so I'll have to show you this later. So here is something incredibly special. This is our Tony the Ant in a leather that is about 80 years old, and this is the 1940s calf. Some of you have picked these up, uh, picked up an item in the 1940s calf. And I think when you feel this in person, you can really see how unique it is. And what's really crazy about it is something that's 80 years old, you would have no idea because it doesn't feel old and dried out. It's still well nourished. Uh, definitely a nice piece. And what's really cool about the, the 1940s calf is the story behind it. And I don't know the full story. I don't think anybody really knows. But the gist of it is this was a leather that Horwoon was making back in the early 1900s. And they called it timber tanned calf. And that's what this is. This is a piece of that that was returned by a customer, a shoemaker, before World War II. They had it returned and it was sitting around the tannery. And then World War II happened and all the leather that they were making was used towards the war effort. So this leather sat there for years. And after the war, they couldn't figure out how to make it again. They lost the formulation. And we're not ever able to reproduce this leather again. So it sat there for years. And every couple of years, they would try to do it again and again. And we're never able to get it quite right. 
So they still had a little batch of this 1940s calf leather available over at Horween and Skip decided uh, to start selling it off for special projects. And we picked up a few different pieces of it. Uh, and this one is the caramel color. This is the one we have most of. There's also a reddish like color eight sort of shade. Uh, but this is a really cool tone the ant. These wear in very nicely because it's vegetable tanned. So we'll get a little bit darker. My big observation about the 1940s calf is how thin it is. It feels a little bit more delicate and thin. I don't think you should treat this too harshly. I have a feeling that it has more tendency to rip because of how old it is and how it's veg tanned and how thin it is. Uh, so this is a little bit more delicate. If you want to try this one out, I think this is a really cool story behind this toy in the ant. So check out this marbled ultraviolet Lexington key case. This is another piece of leather. When people come by, uh, come by our shop in person, and obviously we're not doing that right now with the virus situation. We're not allowing people to come in the building at all. Uh, but before that, they would come by, and this is another piece that people would immediately gravitate towards, the mar marbled ultraviolet. And in fact, we're sold out of it now uh, because it was so popular. But this one's really interesting. It has, sort of has that light purple, pink, and a gradient all the way down to this golden tan. And in a larger context, you get a little bit of it on this key case, but a larger context really shows off the marbling. Uh, people uh, just are immediately struck by this leather. So we have this one key case available in the ultraviolet marbled. So the last piece of ultraviolet marble that I have around. Uh, so you might not see it for a little a little while yet. Last up today, I have another piece of Visage Latigo. And we were talking about the Visage on that uh, second long wallet, the one with the gray and the orange. This is the same idea, except we're doing it with red. So you can see in the bill slot here, underneath the leather, it's all red. This was drum dyed red and the... the uh, cross section of the leather is also red. So what we did was we stained a heavy black layer on the surface to give you that sort of two-tone sandwichy look. Top, the grain layer is black and everything else is red. When this scuffs and scratches, you will start to see a little bit of that red pop through, which is very interesting. And the Latigo itself is also has a lot of vegetable tanned character. It's a combination tan leather, but the retanage has so much tree bark. Uh, that these age very, very nicely. I like how the Latigo ages an awful lot. On the inside, in fact, we also have black Latigo, the ones that we use on all the black horsehide interiors of our Giant of the Fox. And this wallet has a little bit of an orange thread to it. So this is a, a little bit tonal with the red and black and orange. Kind of an interesting look on this Giant of the Fox that will also be available on the Flash Sale page. So let's get on to some of the stuff that's shipping out today. And I wanted to introduce you to our new product here called, we're calling it the One Shot. And it's really just a one little card holder. Simple design. It's sort of like if you took the card slot patterns for the inside of the Fat Herbie, if you folded this in half and stitched it down, it's kind of similar to that. Although it is a, a totally different uh, pattern. It's actually a little bit bigger uh, to more uh, appropriately accommodate cards and stuff. When I was wearing this, I'd like to put in six cards and they fit in rather easily. You can fit six in there. You can actually go up to 10 and stretch this guy out. I think when you get to a certain point of cards, it makes it a little difficult to get new cards in and out. So I don't like to suggest more than six. This is a really great minimalist front pocket wallet for somebody that doesn't have a lot of stuff to carry around. I think this is a really great option. And we have a bunch of different leathers that sold last Friday. I'm planning to restock these. Um, I want to keep it exciting. So we'll probably do some random colors and textures and stuff. Maybe stuff that has never been seen before. And at this price point, it might be a great chance just to get your hand on some different leathers. So we had the English Tan Dublin, which is one of my absolute favorite colors and favorite leathers right now. This is a leather called Brown Nut Dublin that we had not used um, in production for us before. Uh, we just had a piece sitting around for years and I thought it'd be fun to include it in the offering here. It's the same grain character as all the other Dublins, just a different shade. It's darker, a little bit more brown. It's like a yellowy brown underneath. It's a very nice shade. Let's keep going with Dublin. This is black Dublin. Black Dublin is my favorite black leather. It's the only black leather 
that I've found that has any amount of natural grain character. And I just love the way that all the Dublin wears in, develops a nice patina over time. Speaking of patina, I like the way that this teal latigo develops patina. And the teal latigo, I think, is a super underrated leather. Um, I think I want to start adding more latigos to our offering just because I like it so much. But we have so many different leathers right now. It's a little cumbersome to add new versions. If you see a product made out of latigo, I really suggest giving it a shot. It's a very interesting leather with a really grazed grain character. This leather is pasted. Uh, so the grain is very prominent um, just because of the drying method used. We're actually including a little tag about latigo uh, along with all these latigo card holders. Uh, so we have a nice letter pressed Horween logo on the front. On the back side, it says Latigo by Horween. Latigo is a combination tan leather with a full vegetable retanage, well nursed with, with a rich proprietary blend of emulsified oils. Characterized by a beautiful tight grain, Latigo has come a long way from cowboy origins, the old days of saddle straps and hand stitching. Modern Latigo retains the toughness while showing a rich look that improves with age and use. And uh, that last sentence there is to me the key. It just gets better and better the more you use it. The Latigo is a really special leather. This is color number eight, Chrome Excel on our one shot. Chrome Excel has that rich waxy feel. It's a little bit more of a polished grain to it when you compare it to the Latigo especially. Um, it might be difficult to see in these videos, but if you look very closely, the grain is very prominent on that teal. You can see the little tiny hair holes and on the Chrome Excel, they're much more flattened down, polished and smooth, more filled in compared to the full grain Latigo. And lastly, we had two different reverse shell cordovan pieces and i brought out the uh, most dramatic versions of the color eight reverse here so on the right this is about as dark as we see the color eight reverse you can see on the inside there that is the classic color number eight shell cordovan and when you flip it to the unintended side we call that the reverse we get an opportunity to not only show off the horween ink stamp but you get these incredible random dye marks and just different colors it's, Sort of like a Jackson Pollock look where everything is just super unique and random. And this is also color eight reverse on the left here. So when we get farther down the batch of tanning and finishing the shell cordovans, the leather gets a little bit darker on the unintended side. And that's because they dip each piece of shell cordovan in a barrel full of water after the stain has been applied. So the farther they go into that batch, the more the color eight dye has accumulated in that barrel of water. So this probably came from the beginning of the batch and this darker one probably came from the end. But I thought it'd be good to show you the version and variation of color that you can expect to see. And these are black reverse show cordovan. It's the same idea as the color eight reverse and they do not appear black at all. It's I know it's very confusing, <laughs> but if you look on the inside, this is all black shell cordovan on the inside of this one shot. The reverse sides tend to be more of a greenish tan or green shade. Both of these are a little bit darker um, or more towards the dark range that we expect to see on the black reverse. And again, we get that really cool opportunity to show off the Horween ink stamp just like that. Super cool. I wanted to give you a really quick update on my natural Lancaster Fat Herbie experiment. This is a new leather from Horween that is a light veg leather. And it's a, probably about as light of a color you can expect to see from Horween. A lot of the times, the leathers from Horween are a little bit darker because of the amounts of oils and waxes and greases that are tanned into the leather. So this is about as light as it gets. And I wanted to try this one out to see how it aged over time. So I've been wearing it for 68 days. And when I'm starting to observe, the biggest difference of the aging on this one is the luster. The more I wear it, the shinier it gets. And I have a difficult time showing the luster on such a light color like this, but it does have a very pleasant sheen to it that just seems to be getting better and better. It's starting to get a little bit of like a wet look, I call it, where the luster is just getting a little glassy on the surface. I'm also seeing a lot of color being picked up from my denim onto the spine of the wallet that you can see there and in the corners. I'm hoping this gets darker, but it has been getting darker very, very slowly. So even after 68 days, the color hasn't changed much except for down the spine and in the corners. On the inside, it has not changed very much at all. 
but I am noticing that it's molding nicely around everything I put in there. I've got it really loaded up full of a ton of stuff right now uh, just to really pack this guy in, uh, run it through the ringer, so to speak, because I really want to know what this Lancaster is all about. We have this available on the Fat Herbie, like you see here, and I also have it available on the Giant of the Fox now. It's currently on sale. So if you want to try out the natural Lancaster, that's available on our website. Well, I can't believe that I forgot to show you this last Friday. This is an irregular Tone of the Ant in Color 8 Marble Chill Cordovan that was intended to be put up last Friday. So just look forward to this one on the flash sale page at 5 o'clock central today. This is a really beautiful Color 8 Marble Tony. The only issue with it is this little bit of inconsistent stitching on the top right. Just a little bit crooked there. And I can't believe I forgot to not include this one. And I also forgot to include the black and tan Johnny the Fox, the black chromics on the outside with the mock horse head interior. This one had the irregulars on the left side here, these little black marks. And we're turning this into a quite a long video. This is probably my longest one yet. So thanks for hanging in there with me. I think there's just so much great stuff to share today that uh, it's worth spending the time, I think. Uh, so we're moving on to some of the stuff that is shipping out today. This is an English tan Dublin leather comb sheath to go nicely with this carbon fiber comb from Chicago Comb. The carbon fiber combs are naturally anti-static, which makes them really useful uh, to use because your hair doesn't just uh, get all clingy to it. But the comb sheath that we made, we've been making these for many years for Chicago Comb, fits very nicely um, the comb fits very nicely inside of that sheath. And if it's just like that, the contour of the handle fits out the top of the sheath. Uh, very cool. I'm glad that you're picking this up. And here we have a really beautiful black marble shell cordovan, John of the Fox. This one's been personalized for DAG. And congratulations, DAG. This is a really incredible piece of marble shell here. It's sort of like that acid green to a forest green. Some more orange tans underneath. I just love the way this one looks. On the inside of this, we have our black horsehide interior. This is the leather I prefer because I like a bit of a thinner wallet. The horsehide latigos are designed to be specifically thin. Uh, so I like them on the Johnny Fox interiors. And the back here, we've hit a nice little Horween ink stamp for you. Up next, we have another Johnny the Fox, but this one is in the new leather from Horween, the natural Lancaster. That fat Herbie I showed you a little bit ago, the one that I've been wearing, that's the same leather as this, uh, but this is absolutely unused. And you can really see here the difference in the luster. It starts off quite dull, doesn't have much of a sheen to it at all. Uh, and it's this really light tan color. Uh, veg tan leather will age and mold around anything you put in it. Uh, so I'm excited for a bunch of people to try these out. It looks like several people have picked up the Lancaster Fox. On the inside, we have that mock horsehide interior. It gives it a really slim, uh, it's more of a minimalist vibe instead of a chunky, huge, thick wallet with all these layers of leather. It's hard for us to keep the thickness uh, to a minimum on the Giant of the Fox. And up next, this is a really nice Bugs Moran in the English tan Dublin leather. And this one has been personalized for DEP. I really like the handheldability, if that's a word, of the Bugs and Rand. It just fits perfectly in your hand. And on top of that, the English Tan Dublin is great to feel. So it's something that you want to hold in your hand. And there's also one more thing about that is it has this interesting snap to it. Like it wants to bite back to your hand. And for those of you that aren't familiar with veg tan leathers, that's a natural characteristic of veg. It sort of wants to hold its shape. Uh, so when you put cards in here, in fact, the leather will also hold its shape around your cards, which makes it a really special leather to use for a wallet. And I'm really happy for you, DEP. Thank you so much. And we have another Dublin wallet. This one is in the black Dublin on our Giant the Fox. This is probably our most popular wallet right now. This seems to be a bestseller. We're having a hard time keeping the black Dublin foxes in stock. And I really can see why. It's just such a cool look. Totally stealthed out with the black on the outside, black on the inside. All of the edges are black. By the way, we hand wax and burnish all of our edges. And on the Dublin, uh, it looks almost like a finished piece of wood, which is really neat. And even on the bill slot and the inside here, everything is all blacked. So I super love the sort of stealthed out John of the Fox here. And this is probably our second most popular wallet right now, the natural Chrome Excel John of the Fox. And the Giant of the Fox is easily our most popular style. I think it's because most people relate 
to this style with the six card slots on the inside, the bill slot in the back, just sort of a normal form factor of what you would expect for uh, most guys would expect to have. Um, but the natural Chrome Excel itself is very much a neutral brown color. It's very light. It's almost like a dark ivory on the surface. And the pull-up is a little bit more tan, a little bit more, a uh, little bit lighter and more of a true ivory color. Uh, so I really like that. These wear in very nicely as well. With the black horse head interior, we've cut the thickness down to a minimum. And the absolute last wallet for today on our record setting length video here. Uh, this is our last available Teal Latigo John of the Fox. I'm sad to see it go, but we are restocking it. So we should have more of these available soon. I had mentioned on our one shot card holders that the Latigo is worth trying. So not only from us, from Ashland, Anywhere you see Latigo, I suggest trying out because it wears in very, very well. It ages as well as any veg tan leather, even though it is chrome tan. So you get a, a little bit of best of both worlds going there. And the teal in particular, the way that this ages, almost turns closer towards this pair of denim. It darkens up significantly, and I think that's very neat. On the inside, we've contrasted the teal with a black horse hide interior. I like this color combo. I like the inverse of this as well that we also have where it's black on the outside, teal on the inside. For some reason, there's something about the black and that greenish light blue color. The way they go together is just really nice. Uh, so thanks again for checking out everything today, including this black and teal Johnny the Fox. Please look out for the event that's gonna be happening today at 5 p.m. Central Time on our flash sale page. Uh, that's where I'll be putting up all of the uh, new irregular and one-off wallets. I want to give everybody an opportunity to hear about it here first, although I mentioned it on Friday. Um, just please don't miss out. I, I know that a lot of people get a little frustrated when things sell out, so I want you to have all, everybody to have an equal opportunity to pick one up. So thanks again, and I'll see you again tomorrow.